This episode, we're going to be working with uh, doing something fun with a wireless charger. Wireless chargers are pretty good. So, like to uh, charge up your phone. Right. Conveniently, you can charge up your phone. But, you know, once you're no longer charging up your phone, uh, just, it just lays around there, uh, really doing nothing. So, might as well have something there that will uh, be a, a lighting up the room and be some interesting to look at while you're not charging up your phone. A little a device like that that uh, will, will light up the room or something interesting to look at. In this episode, we are I don't know so you have to make one of these. Basically parts, you know. Okay. With this project right here, we're gonna build this circuitry right here. It's simple with a pickup coil right here. Which is a 22, 26 gauge uh, wire, mag wire. There's a copper wire with like a uh, select on it insulation uh use up all the rule why i don't know how many i didn't count how many times i wrapped around this i use this right here to uh, wrap the wire around it you can use almost anything you know that will uh fit into this container right here Okay, so the basic circuitry is right now is that the pickup coil right here picks up the uh, electromagnetic, uh, electromagnetic uh, energy from this uh, charging station up. It uh, picks up as an AC signal, alternating current. And this is a, a full bridge rectifier right there. You see the uh, rectifier built on the uh, breadboard right here that converts that into a uh, DC pulses a uh, capacitor right here this is a, a 50 volt uh, 25 volt 220 microfarads capacitor um, a meter right there that I can use to uh, measure the voltage across this and two LEDs lights they indicate um, we have enough current for that so the charger is plugged in I put this up now you can see the voltage jumped up it's right now charged up the capacitor And there's enough to blink those lights right there. Yes, um, we can just put that in there or create a circuit board and put all this in right here. But this have only little two LED lights. Uh, interesting, but not too interesting. But I went to Michael's and I uh, bought this right here. They had this, they sell a bunch of these jars too, where the lights that light up or blinking lights. So in this case right here, the steady light right here. This right here is a steady light. That little two pole box in here, a battery box right here, that you can have it set it to have it on all the time, or have it a timer that will be on for like was it six hours, and then off so many hours. When you cut and strip these, ten of them is a good idea. these by adding a little solder and up like that right. okay
now I have one of these right here these are very very useful when you get into electronics and especially like an LED projects and stuff like that you will want to buy something like this you buy this at Fry's uh, I think it was this was like six or seven bucks maybe a bit more I had this for a couple of years I'm doing a video uh, okay look at what clarity so this has a black stripe right here so maybe I take that as a, a, a negative put this in here oh yes you see it working right there so that tells me that this is negative one little black right there so what I do, I, I can remove the dials so that's what I'm getting right now and you can see the meters start jumping up there Okay, so perfect. But this won't fit into the whole thing won't fit into this, so that's why we have to then take this circuitry and put it all into this board right here. Put a project board right there. Put that in. In there, good. Now we've got the circuitry right here, and now we can start taking these off and constructing the circuitry onto the board. There are some other videos or some other channels. The person just put all this solder all together in a clump or something like that, and do that but for me I prefer to have it to put it on little circuit boards like this make it nice and neat okay you see and all right here to the negative end of the capacitor simple little circuit but it does take a while to uh, put this stuff in right there you, just, you learn by just doing it Hopefully, this should work. Hopefully, we should get the same results. Put 
there you have it. Now you have a from the breadboard to a nice little circuit board right there. Next thing we have to do is to uh, then place this into this. I then I'll use this tall one right here. So what we're gonna do is now is to put the coil down in here, figure out a way. Best way to do this. the coil down there and then let the uh, hot glue um, dry or harden a little bit okay and I think for good measure let's see if this still works Yes, that's always a good sign. So the no matter if you can go right easily right through the. Okay. I got this finished. Took a little while. Not exactly a neat job, but hey, it's good enough. Got it um, all hooked together. Give it a try. Wow. And there you have it. A little light show through a wireless charger. Go out and make something fun today. Okay.